Fraser Simpson went to the Edward Wood Sports Centre to find out more. Sama Ranima isn't just breaking blocks, she's breaking records. At just seven years old, she became one of the sport's youngest black belts in the UK, gaining her first belt when she was just two. As you can see, Sama has the strength and the skill to take on man twice her size and more than twice her age. And we hope that she use her skill and her determination in the Patton World Championships in Korea next year. Gangs, knives and violence is often how London's estates are portrayed in movies. But Drawn Out, a film made and set in Islington, aims to show the reality rather than the sensationalism of London's gang culture. One actor who was able to reflect is Joshua Blissett, who played Jacob, the film's lead. He was humbled when he found out about the London football nomination and delved into the film's core message. I'm still learning about it and I'm, I'm just so grateful. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to understand it and um, like learn about it and everything, but I'm just so grateful to be a part of this film. It's never too late to change over, you know. Um, if, you've got, if you've got life, you've got the opportunity to rectify it, make something good of it and use your fears or use the negative situations to propel you forward instead of hinder you. And, yeah, just keep going, keep pushing. Up against Brentford and Chelsea tonight at the awards, the cast and crew hope a win will be the icing on the cake for the film's initial success. With a sequel already in the works, this may be the first of many award nominations for the Drawn Out series. Fraser Simpson, City News. The Royal British Legion estimates that nearly 5,000 soldiers in the British Armed Forces are originally from Commonwealth nations. Many of these soldiers now face a legal battle with the Home Office in order to remain in the United Kingdom indefinitely. And some of these soldiers are now using online petitions as a way to promote their cause and to ask for help. For Trevor, his battle's a stressful one, just by looking at the sheer amount of letters he's received from the government. See the date? The 12th of September 2014. With my photo, but I'm not allowed to work. I need to report to the police station. In this letter, they give one reason for you yeah. for being detained or you being liable to be detained. It says that yeah. you're a person without leave. You are likely to be removed at any point. Many Commonwealth veterans feel alone in their battle to remain in the United Kingdom. But there are some MPs who are fighting their corner. And I went to meet the MP who's leading the motion. Liberal Democrat Sir Edward Davey has met firsthand some of the veterans whose lives have been crippled by the fees and is campaigning to see them waived. Is this just a revenue raiser from the government or do you think that it may actually be part of a wider policy such as hostile environment? There needs to be some fees but it does look like they've been increasing the fees by a dramatic amount that's totally unjustified of the costs of processing and therefore um, it does look as if this government is using fees to discourage people from applying, uh, even for things like uh, asylum. Sausage rolls are having something of a renaissance. From Lad Baby's Christmas number one, we built this city on sausage rolls, to Greg's vegan sausage roll alternative. Mm. The competition isn't just about sausage rolls. Each year, the roll-off picks a different charity to raise money for, and this year it hopes to beat the £800 it raised in 2018. This year's winner, pub chef Adrian Oliver, who's based outside the capital, didn't even think he was among the favourites this year. How does that feel? Um, not real. Genuinely shocked. Um, I love this event. Um, it's only my second year, but I've been following it on Twitter for a long time. Despite the winner not hailing from the capital, the roll-off shows just how popular the sausage roll still is to London pubs. And with over £1,500 raised for catering charity Hospitality Action, we know that there is more than one winner coming away from tonight. Fraser Simpson, City News.